If I could have dinner with anyone in history, that person would be Charles Darwin. I would love to have dinner with Mr. Charles Darwin because I'd like to ask him a few pertinent questions. I would like to ask Mr. Darwin whether he was aware of the fact that a book that he authored over 150 years ago on the origin of species caused so much destruction around the world. See, Mr. Darwin taught that only the strong should be allowed to survive. I would like to ask Mr. Darwin whether he was aware of the fact that the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, was a staunch follower of his. She even mentioned him in several of her writings. She believed in eugenics. Eugenics taught that the powerful would decide who would have reproductive rights. The fit would get it, the unfit wouldn't. In the early part of the uh, 20th century, many states participated in forced sterilization. Margaret Sanger went around bragging about her Negro project. The whole purpose of this project was to reduce the fertility rates and birth rates amongst black people so that the race would not be sustainable and ultimately become extinct. Fred Gillow of the Canada Free Press wrote that Margaret Sanger was invited as a guest speaker to the KKK several times. And today, Planned Parenthood kills more African Americans every four days, every four days, than the KKK killed over 150 years. Margaret Sanger became outraged because of a group of meddling Christians who tried to stop the Chinese from drowning their little babies. She was outraged because she would rather have those babies die than have a shortage of food. See, Mr. Darwin, the strong are not always that strong after all. Hitler, when the going got tough, killed himself. And Jerry Bergman of creation.com wrote that Sanger died a drunk, addicted to painkillers. She was miserable, feeling abandoned and alone. Joseph Stalin, I can argue, was a huge hypocrite. And based on Sanger's philosophy, he should have been eradicated. See, Joseph Stalin's mother was poor and she was just a simple wash lady. His father was a drunk who used to beat him up. A lot of hypocrisy there, Mr. Darwin. Finally, I would like to ask Mr. Darwin whether he would willing, knowing now the, atrocity, the atrocities that were committed because of his philosophies, whether he would be willing to admit that he was wrong. I would ask him whether he would be willing to admit that he was wrong because after 150 years of scientists trying to find any evidence of a link, uh, an evolutionary link of a change between one species into another kind of species, it doesn't exist. No, Mr. Darwin. The missing link is still missing today. Would you acknowledge, Mr. Darwin, that you were wrong and that perhaps there is a creator? See, Mr. Darwin, the horrible atrocities committed by people such as Adolf Hitler is really no different than the little white lies that I've told in my life. It's no different than, than the little cookies that I stole from my mother's closet. No, we are all sinners and we deserve the penalty of death because of our sin. And that's when I will tell him about my Jesus. See, my Jesus came as a sacrifice for the sin, for our sins, to pay the penalty that Mr. Darwin, Hitler, and everybody else, including myself, deserve. See, I would tell him that no one is beyond the love of God. Not even people such as Adolf Hitler is beyond the reach of my God. And I would finally tell him that God loves him. That God loves the whole world so much that he gave his only begotten son so that those who believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life.